What's up, YouTube? Today I'll be talking about the upcoming Ken Ham vs. Bill Nye the Science Guy debate. I mean, if you want to call it that, but the two will be having a debate on February 4th at 7 p.m., which is this coming Tuesday, over the topics of evolution and creationism. Now, when I first heard of this debate that was going to happen, I had sort of two conflicting views or opinion on this debate. On one hand, I was a little upset because Bill Nye the Science Guy, who was my personal hero, who I watched like all of his uh, Bill Nye the Science Guy TV shows back when I was in like elementary school, and he really had a major impact in getting me interested in science. But for him to debate someone such as Ked Ham, who is disingenuous in his arguments, who lies to children, who uses pseudoscience to and, and tries to make it seem legitimate by having a mu museum or, or a laugh factory down in Kentucky called the Creationist Museum and try to pass it off as leg legitimate science, I'm a little upset that he would be uh, debating him. And it almost seems that Bill Nye the Science Guy is sort of making the creationist pseudoscience seem legitimate because it's not. Evolution is something that is backed by mountains, thousands, probably tens of thousands of peer-reviewed research. Just, there's so much research and evidence to back the theory of evolution that it's laughable that the word evolution would even be in the same sentence with creationism. And this is going to be the last point in this video that I want to make. I can sort of see why Bill Nye the Science Guy is going to have this debate with Ken Ham because a lot of people who will be watching this debate are young earth creationists and for people like me who are you know in their third year of college studying engineering and whose most of their friends are STEM majors or just rational freaking people it, it, it's hard to imagine that there's such a large portion of the country that holds such views towards science. You know, I have to apply science every single day in school. And when me and my friends hear about down in like the southern states of how maybe a, rep a state representative will say something about evolution, embryology, and I don't like climate change or something are all from the pits of hell and made by the devil to fool you or something. It, 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 it seems to us that that state, or at least that district, has elected like a freaking caveman or something, man. Like that, 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 that's how crazy it seems to rational people. And I have to applaud Bill Nye the Science Guy because he has spent his whole entire life advocating for science education. And even if he changes the mind of one young earth creationist, to have them open up to the beauty of science, then that's a mission accomplished. This debate was worthwhile. It was worthwhile to, to, to have a debate with, with, with someone who lives in the third century. In closing, I'm looking forward to seeing Bill Nye just, man, tear him up on Tuesday. Um, I mean, it, it's, it's not a debate because this issue is not a controversy but it's going to be so freaking funny it's going to be like a 27th century astrophysicist who's discovered just all these crazy new scientific inventions in the future debate a caveman 5,000 years like 5,000 years ago from 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 today on why the earth rotates around the sun and the caveman is going to be on the side of the earth is the center of the universe and the clouds or not the clouds but the sky is changed out um, to nighttime by a, uh, a, a let's say a dragon every single night and at the beginning of the morning the dragon comes through super fast and he changes the wallpaper on the uh, in the sky and then the scientist is going to or the astrophysicist is going to be like no 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 earth this this thing you're on right now which is round it's not flat 
rotates around that yellow thing in the sky that we call a star or that or most people call the sun we rotate around this because the mass of the sun is so big it's big big like really big that it's that it's this this magical thing that that you guys would probably think is magical but we call gravity this gravity which keeps you from not flying away from right now is so massive that it rotates this uh, the, the, the surface you on right now around the sun and that, that that's how this debate is going to look like to a person who isn't a creationist and a person who doesn't live in that bubble i'm, I'm serious I, I, when i watch this debate it's, it's not going to be it's not a debate to me because the debate is between two people who have two conflicting um views on something that both have legitimacy and one side is like what I just mentioned. And the other side is like the fucking caveman from the, the the second century or something, you know. And that's all I gotta say. I'll probably make a video after the debate to, um, to tell you guys what I thought about it. I'll I'll probably be uh, suffocating of laughter if I make it right after um, the debate. So I'll probably make it maybe during the weekend because I have like five classes on Wednesday. But I'll probably make it like Thursday, Friday, maybe Saturday. So. Thanks for watching, subscribe, like, comment, and have a nice day.